As midnight approaches, the masquerade comes to an end. Xavier and I step out of the hotel lobby, as if stepping out from a vacuum. We look forward to our next encounter. Have a great night. Maybe the phrase great night is too suggestive. Xavier and I turn around at the same time. The bright moonlight reflects our figures onto the shining glass. I can't help but steal another glance. <laughs> What's so funny? It's nothing. Just seeing you in formal wear for the first time is disconcerting. Xavier looks away awkwardly and starts to unbutton his shirt. I, I just said I'm not used to it. Not that it doesn't look good. You shouldn't feel embarrassed. Before I can even finish my sentence, his suit jacket is draped over my shoulders. Aren't you cold? Ah. Uh, now it's my turn to quickly look away as I touch my flushed cheek. A little, yeah. Let's go. Um... I lower my gaze and glance at my high heels. I've been standing for so long, my feet are killing me. Can we find a place to sit down before we walk? Xavier's eyes meet mine. He sighs. How can you tease people when you aren't used to wearing formal attire either? <laughs> but I didn't. You're the one who's teasing me. He seems to be focused on something else. He goes down two steps, then slightly leans forward. Hmm? Realizing that I haven't moved, he finally turns his head to look at me. Don't your feet hurt? Uh... Earlier, I was grumbling at this remark, but now, as I stare at his back, I don't know what to do. After hesitating for a bit, I wrap my arms around his neck so he can give me a piggyback ride. The department stores in the city center are closed for the night, but the streets are still bustling with people. Whenever a passerby glances at us, my face moves closer to Xavier's shoulder. You get embarrassed easily, huh? It's not like that. As I pout and lift my chin, I noticed a bit of foundation on his white dress shirt. I brush it off and act like nothing happened. The streets are usually empty at this time. Why are there still people here? He looks at them all where the advertisement for a big holiday sale once glowed. I guess today is special. Because I'm on his back, my gaze is a little higher than his. The lights wrapped around the trees cast a colorful halo over his hair. Savior, look up. Why? All these holiday lights and streamers will be taken down after tonight. Tomorrow will be another ordinary day. Isn't it a shame to just go home right now? <sighs> K 
Can we stick around for a bit? He stops in his tracks and turns his face slightly to the side. Alright, where do you want to go? I'm not sure. I feel like I could go anywhere. I look around before pointing at something. Over there, maybe? The frothy beer foam spreads in my mouth and makes its way down my throat. Because of the alcohol, the chilly, riverside breeze mingling with the humidity seems to have softened. I definitely feel more at ease here than when I twirled under the dim lights at the masquerade. Saver holds a plastic bag with one hand, and the other holds my wrist. Why do you feel better after drinking? You're not an alcoholic, are you? To tea is a special day. There's no harm in having a drink. Saver shakes the plastic bag, and the sound of clattering cans reverberates. Your idea of a drink is different from what a drink actually is. Mm. It's just a matter of taste. Besides... I grab one of the cans and shove it into his hand. Who said I was going to drink alone? Xavier and I sit in silence on the bench. We face the river, its surface rippling in the wind. I start pulling out cans of beer from the plastic bag and create a pile between us. Xavier quickly looks around. It's only us here. So what's next? We drink and enjoy the breeze. You really don't know anything, do you? I raise up my beer and aim the tab directly at the transparent tower in the distance. Do you see Lincoln Tower over there? In a few more minutes? Probably 11.59pm. The entire building will become a dazzling display of lights. I bet everyone else is over there trying to get a good spot. But they don't know that this is actually the best spot. Feeling a little bored, I stack the can in my hand on top of another. The clanging echoes my sentiments. To be honest, I don't get it. He also picks up a beer can to stack onto the pile. After some time passes, he looks up. Have you been here before to see the lights? Hmm? Oh, I passed by this place before. You wouldn't know if you just passed by. You've got to sit here and see the best view yourself. Says who? You can find anything online these days. His intentions are as clear as day. I observe him pretending to be indifferent and suddenly have an idea. Maybe. But I don't remember who was with me at the time. <sighs> he nods, then turns his gaze back to the countdown on the tower as the minutes tick away. Aren't you curious about who that person was?
If you forgot about them, then they probably weren't important anyway. Uh, I fidget with the hem of the jacket, not willing to end the topic. You never know. I might end up forgetting about us sitting here to enjoy the breeze and the view. He doesn't respond to my obvious bait. He just turns his head and looks into my eyes, leaving me speechless. Before I can speak, lights streak across the night sky. Across the river, Lincoln Tower is gradually covered in pink. A heart appears, beating once per second, and is accompanied by a flashing sign that says, Love. Lincoln Tower is all lit up! I can't help but tug on Savior's sleeve eager to share my excitement, but I notice his gaze isn't fixed on what grabbed everyone's attention. <laughs> yeah. Happy holidays! Happy holidays. The moment our eyes meet, my heart beats in sync with the heart atop the tower. My mind is trapped in a whirlwind of confusion, possibly because of the alcohol. Quickly, I look away. <sighs> Suddenly, the stack of cans between us tumbles, clattering onto the bench. A refreshing cool kiss gently lands on my face. It leaves as quickly as it comes. Huh? My mind is blank. I look into his bright and shining eyes. Will you still forget it? What? Look at the lights. We turn around at the same time, just as the lights on the looming tower flicker out. We're left in an awkward silence. With a slight squeeze, the aluminum can in my hand is crumpled. The noise suddenly piercing the silence. I guess it's over. It is. Um... I want to say something, but I just can't find the words. I sneak a glance at him. How can Savior act like nothing happened? After a moment of silence, Savior looks at me. Do you want to see it again? I can't. It's already past midnight. Lincoln Tower won't stay lit for another minute just because I ask. Who knows? A cold beer can blocks my vision. When it's gone, I see Lincoln Tower is shining once more. I know he's using the light evil again. Now it's a brand new day. It doesn't matter if you saw the lights with someone else before. Only we have experienced this extra minute of light. 
The dazzling lights of the tower are truly mesmerizing. We watch quietly until they fade again. I'm not sure how long we've been sitting here. I finish my drink and toss it into a nearby trash can. The party is over, and I saw the lights. Since there's nothing else to do, let's go home. Save your nods. Just as I'm about to get up, my knees suddenly buckle. Ah! I stumble and start to fall. Fortunately, Savior quickly catches me. Are you alright? I clutch my ankle, no longer caring about how I look. My ankle! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! The lights in Savior's bedroom are off. Only a silver of light from the doorway faintly shines on his shoulder. He holds the healing spray with one hand and opens a drawer with the other. He fishes out a pair of slippers that are even softer than the ones I'm wearing. Thanks, but I can do it myself. Savior remains quiet. When I try to grab the healing spray, he moves it out of my reach. In the dim lighting, he stares at my ankle. Hmm. This will be difficult. With that, he leans toward me. It's still swollen. You better put an ice pack on it. I'll go get one. Wait. What's the matter? Um. You don't have to go that far. It's okay. I'm the only one here. So, is this why you didn't want me to leave? How come you're allowed to do this, but not me? <sighs> Maybe you should try calming down first. Stop. You really are drunk. Is it getting light outside? We can't delay the sunrise, but... We can make the night a little darker. <laughs> 